Today a girl was saying that she is an asexual because she was doing human trafficking of me. Later today someone was saying that the gay people are not represented enough in the movies. And even later today this woman and this man said that they prevented this other person from shooting other people. The woman had a gay bracelet on her arm. So first, the sexuality industry is exploiting me as a person by making me into an asexual. Then the sexuality industry is saying that the gay people are not represented enough in the movies in order to advertise for the gay sexuality. I'm sorry, but uh, even though your sexuality can uh, be a sign of your true personality, you do not choose someone based on that sexuality. You choose someone based on their true personality. Yeah, and then I'm not talking about choosing a partner. You do not choose someone based on their sexuality because a sexuality is not a fucking human quality. A sexuality is not a human quality and a reason to prioritize anyone. And the reason why gay people are not represented enough in the movies is because you are creating this situation yourself in order to complain about it. The gay people are a lot of people and they have a lot of power. So if they want to change something, they can just do that. Then uh, this uh, woman and this man uh, talked about uh, preventing this other person from uh, shooting other people. She had a gay bracelet. They said that this person was going to shoot them, but then they managed to grab uh, him and his gun. They were like these tough people who just attacked this uh, person without uh, thinking about it. But then afterwards, uh, they are complaining a lot that they need to talk to a shrink. I'm sorry, but uh, I thought that you just said that you could walk through walls. Well, now you are complaining more than anyone saying that you need a shrink. But uh, here is the thing. If you were really struggling, you would have realized that talking to someone does not uh, help a physical condition in your body. Because uh, mental pain becomes physical pain. Therefore, it becomes really visible that you are asking for a solution to a problem which you do not have. So, I don't know, but this seems to be an event staged by healthcare in order to advertise for their services. And what I find weird is that when someone is pointing at you with a gun, you manage to grab that gun. You manage to grab that gun without being shot. And that seems weird. And when these people managed to grab this person with this gun, this woman said that she managed to break the thumb of this person. You broke the thumb of this person. And then you present yourself as this hero. But here is the thing, heroes usually do not hurt anyone, no matter what you do towards them. And uh, did you really break the tongue of this person? Because uh, that might be a task which might be very difficult to perform when he is holding on to that gun. Not just because he is holding on uh, to that gun, but because of the resistance in his uh, tongue. So I think that this whole thing seems uh, staged. And again, they are showing me their flag next to their behavior. So uh, then the question is, this person with this gun, was he part of this play or is he held responsible for something which he did not do? And I am not sure, but I think that this was a man which was holding this gun. Which is another reason for why this should have been staged, because uh, girls and uh, women are in charge and they prioritize their own gender. As long as you are stupid and insensitive. But even though they prioritize their own gender, this could also have been real, because uh, 
they also choose uh, to show actual news based on the fact that they prioritize their own gender.